Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to share uh, one word with you. I have a folder in my computer, and when I, you know, uh, read an article, when I encounter a new word, I'm uh, recording it into a word document, and whenever it's needed. I check it and sometimes I use it while writing, uh, writing an article because in the articles I don't like to use the same word all the time given that my native uh, language is not English it's Turkish so I need uh, such a reference for me yeah you can tell me that there are some dictionaries um, doing this job why are you uh, necessarily recording some different words into a folder i know that for example you can check the synonyms synonym of the word in thesaurus uh, dictionary but you know you don't uh, re relative relevant ones in this kind of dictionaries it comes to me a bit difficult to you know use my words uh, what i mean my words the words that i have learned yet and you know i want these words to make uh, active vocabulary of me uh, actual active vocabulary not in speaking but in uh, writing because these words most of the time are the formal words because i'm i'm learning them from the articles anyway one of them was the meager i think it's pronunciated meager i didn't check it meanwhile if you want to check the pronunciation any word in english then you can go to formal uh, website write a form in google and enter this website it's very useful because there are a couple of native speakers uh, who are pronunciating the words and you are learning how to uh, pronounce it. You know, there are some dictionaries, but in the, these dictionaries, the pronunciation is not good enough. Sometimes some dictionary pronounces the words wrongly. So you can use this website because you are checking it with a couple of from couple of native speakers and meager so my native language is turkish so it means yet so it's it means very small very small in amount or number uh, only as much as or not as much as it is needed or thought to be suitable it's very small it's not enough so the second meaning lacking uh, desirable qualities such as written, richness, strength, abundancy, you know, deficient in quality and quantity. So it doesn't have necessary skills. So uh, let's look at the, how can I say that, um, examples. First one, the food at grandmother's house was meager and barely edible you know yeah there was a uh, less food in the house of my grandma but it was not enough for us to eat it so it was me meager not enough meager so meager sources we can say megan fair i don't know the meaning of fair maybe we can check it here, fair. Oh my God. Uh, no, it's Turkish. So if I change it to English, it would be better for me. Meager, fair. I think it's a price or salary like that, something. Uh, synonymous, where is the synonymous? Charge price, yeah. Meager salary, meager fare, meager money. It's not enough. 
As the malignant tumor, pancreatic cancer with a meager five-year survival rate has been widely concerning. The prognosis for the disease remains meager, so it's not enough. The prognosis is not enough. It's very less, very meager. And let's check the last sentence and uh, finish the word. The main hardness of the problem was the meager size of patient training data. So there was no uh, much, that there was not much patient training data. So it was, you know, it's meager, the size of it is meager, and you can use in this case too. Thank you for watching. Uh, I just wanted to share my words with you and I will increase the number of words that uh, I learned from the articles and I will try to share with you. I don't know if it is useful or not uh, because I am just, uh, you know, trying to do such a things and maybe it can come to you a bit uh, a bit uh, not competent. I couldn't find the word anyway. Thank you for watching. And